management reporter security. How do we establish security on the different uh, levels of tasks uh, that we can perform within management reporter? How do we establish security based on the, the ability to open and edit a building block? And uh, what kind of security do we have related to the output? When we publish output for a report uh, within a given folder or within uh, the report, you can have different reporting units. How do we control the security to all those kinds of things? So first of all, um, within the security grid, as I'm building uh, my list of users for Management Reporter, each user will be assigned a, a specific role. There are four roles hard-coded for Management Reporter, and um, each user is assigned to be either an administrator, a designer, a generator, or a viewer. And the administrators can do pretty much anything. They can build reports, they can generate reports, they can add new users to the application. A designer can do anything with reports. They can't set up new users. They're, they're limited only in their ability to do things like what we're doing here, looking at the security grid, maybe establishing a new user group or a new user for the application. A generator isn't able to build new reports, but they're able to generate report output, new report output for a given name and a given reporting date. They can generate new output based on data in GP right now. And then a report viewer is only able to review published reports. They're not able to generate new output. <coughs> and so that's the first level of security is the ability to do different tasks within Management Reporter. What role have they been assigned? What are they able to perform in terms of can they use the designer or are they limited to only viewing published reports, that kind of thing. Uh, the next aspect is the idea that we can establish reporting or user groups and each group can be assigned a given user or users and um, then the user groups can be used to establish security on different folders within the reports library or on different reporting units within specific reports if we're using a reporting tree. Uh, so users and groups are set up in the security grid. Um, if I have a report that is using a reporting tree, I can um, go into the report and establish that um, maybe not all users should have the ability to view all of the reporting units within, um, within the organization. So I can set here uh, within my uh, reporting tree that, and we've got an example of it here in our um, uh, income statement reporting tree that at, at one level of the organization, we only wanted the executives to be able to view that. And when I open up this column L within the reporting tree, the unit security, I can establish a user, a specific user, or a group of users that should have access to that level. And so for each branch of the reporting tree, I'm able to set a user, a list of users, or a group or list of groups, and um, uh, that sets the security for that, um, that branch of the reporting uh, output as I've generated it. Then over within the reports library, notice that in this report output, I'm only seeing the accounting branch. So I'm, I'm uh, looking at output for the income statement that was um, was just reviewed, this tree is showing that um, other users have access to all the other departments. Uh, my user is associated with the accounting department that we saw a minute ago, and that's the only branch of the reporting tree that I'm able to access. So I can open up the report, I can get to it through the reports library, but the only unit that's active is the accounting unit. So that's the only branch of the uh, output I can view. And if we have other 
folders, other reports within the library that we would like to establish permissions on. I can right click on any report or any folder here and establish, okay, for the executives folder, uh, I'm trying to make it easy, so I have an executives group that uh, has permissions to that. So if you're not in the executives group, you won't be able to view the output that was generated to this location. And so this permissions, the folder permissions within the library is in sync with the destination that we used when we generated the output. We talked about all those output options, the, um, the place that we're generating to within the reports library is important because that's maybe going to be a secure folder, a secure location uh, for, for the data that we're generating.